What's up, my DoorDash gang? What's up, my Grubhub gang? This is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Owl, coming at you with another video. What it do, what it do. What's up, guys? Uh, just want all my subs to know, huh? friends and family, I am not nowhere near the hurricane. It's on the, um, I think it's on the Big Band on the, um, Panhandle, up there by Pensacola, Florida, on the coast. I'm nowhere near it, so thank God for that. What we probably get, guys, is a lot of rain and some wind, but we're not in the eye or nowhere near it, so thank God for that. And thank everybody that said, send out prayers and stuff. Thank you, Benita. But, uh, um, all right, that Tesla is hot. Oh, hell no, I ain't going that way. Mm -mm. It's backed up again, guys. Yeah, we on our way to Cypress Grand. Yeah, we on our way. Don't you come across here, girl. You almost got hit. Woo! She almost stepped out there, guys. You know what I told you? You ain't the popo. Uh, closing guard. You can get hit. Yeah, I'm back in London, guys. Tokyo, Japan, wherever you want to call it. I was going to try. I, I tried everything with this camera, but you know what, guys? I don't give a damn no more. Hell no, I ain't changing nothing but car. I might tell y'all one day, hey, your boy's in London. <laughs> your boy's in Tokyo, as Pakari would say. He trying to distract me from coming out there whooping his tail. That's what that is. Hoping I'm in London, Trenny. Let's take East Fletcher Avenue, Tampa. But Kari, hope I'm in um, Japan, Tokyo, or London. So he ain't got to deal with all this. I'ma just leave it hanging. Every time I make it passing, man. Leaving the hanging. Time I score, that's four points. You score, that's one. New rule. Scott made it up, I did. <laughs> Shout out to my my homeboy Bakari guy. He taking this he taking this bashing real well. He taking it real well, guys. I know physically looking at that man play. Cause he played like I used to play, you know. I, I lost this, I lost about 12 steps, but it's okay though. But looking at him playing, we all know that one on one, he would destroy me, you know. But that's why we make rules, Bakari. That's why we make rules. It's called handicap. Fast, I mean, golf got a handicap. Now basketball gonna have a handicap. Yep. So I just gotta make sure that I get Kari, but Kari all the rules and regulations that he need to help him lose so we can do this thing. He don't sign a contract. I'm still going out there. He got to sign a health waiver. waiver Cause I, you know, I might accidentally, you know, foul him every time he shoot the ball. So he might need medical attention. <laughs> so, you know, Car, I ain't trying to hurt nobody but Car, but you know, the boy got to do what he got to do, man. I'm coming to win by any means necessary. If I got to hire Kobe Bryant or LeBron James to help me beat you, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, guys, help me get the 15,000, guys. Share the video. Uh, 
I feel that if you share the video, you ain't gotta tell them to subscribe. But if you share the video, I think that they'll like what they see there and subscribe. My buddy said, you need to tell the guys to subscribe. I'm like, they watch the video, I know they're gonna subscribe. Uh, I don't like telling people what to do. Because I hate when people tell me, oh, push the button, hit the bell. Like, what if I don't like you? Maybe I don't wanna hit the bell. Yeah, boy, it's getting it's getting nice and, and, and cloudy, guys. So, I need to find out if we're having a meeting today. Mm. I hope they don't want us to come in because I really don't want to come in early today. My wife said, get up. I'm like, mm -mm. no, 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 not getting up to the to the thing go off. Door dash went off, man. I, I, it seemed like I was up. I was up and out the door, guys. I'm going to Dunkin' Donut, guys. I forgot we got an order for Dunkin' Donut. Bam. We're going to Dunkin' Donut, guys. My favorite place in the world. Some people want to go to the White House. I just want to go to Dunkin' Donut. Some people want to meet the president. I just want to meet the owner of Dunkin' Donut. <laughs> I ain't lying to you. I ain't lying to you, guys. Let's see where we're going at. On the telecom car. I'm gonna get this stuff. I'm going eight. I'm getting eight dollars and it's going to be there at 923. We're gonna be there at like 915. It's only five minutes away. I get eight dollars and fourteen cents they go across the street. You can't beat that. Cannot beat it with a bat. I throw this trash out too. I'm gonna put my umbrella up front. My umbrella, umbrella, umbrella. In case it rains. I don't wanna get caught in no storm. But the water surge, the surge from the, the storm is what's gonna hurt us. I pray that everybody make it out safe. They did evaluate, I think, Ben Ben and um, Pensacola, 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 whatever it's called. I think they evaluate, told them to evaluate, get out. Oh, God, why you do that? Mm. Had a great night, guys. Got home like two something. Thank God for that. It was a four o'clock night, a two, two or something night. I take 10 hours on 15 any day, guys. I'll be here. Guys, just to let you know, here's a tip for the day. If you near the restaurant, you can go ahead and swipe. It doesn't matter. I always try to swipe because uh, hmm. well, I got two minutes or three. I always try to swipe early because in, in case that order counts. If that order counts and you right there, you get paid for it if you swipe. If you pick their order up before they cancel, they have to pay you your base pay. So when I'm getting, as soon as I get near the restaurant, I swipe. Like I already swipe Dunkin' Donut and I'm still a minute away. Because I want to make sure that I don't ride all the way out here for nothing. I take my base pay, which is $4.75 or $3.75. I take my base pay over 
coming all the way out here and got to turn around, guys. That's no fun. I don't have to get much. I only got to get a couple items. I'm going to get my coffee, guys. Tyler, I got to cheat on you, baby. I'm sorry, honey. Please forgive me. But I'm going to get this Dunkin' Donut coffee today, guys. I need to wake up. I might do the twins. No, I ain't doing the twins, guys. I want to go back to sleep. All right, guys. I'll see you in a minute. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm in there talking to another dasher. I'm running late. I thought I was waiting on something. I'm waiting for them to call it. I'm like, hell, I got to go. Hopefully, we got a new family member, guys. Hopefully, we got a new family member. It's important, guys. I'm trying, like I said, I'm trying to grow the channel, guys. I'm trying to get out to L.A. to beat Bakari in basketball one-on-one. -on -one. He said it's never going to be happy. But if Kevin Hart can win five MVPs or five All-Star MVPs, I can beat the car. Okay, guys? Kevin Hart gave short people a chance. My skill level is a little higher than Kevin Hart. But I'm telling you, if you put Kevin Hart and Bakari on the same team, I will both up. Turn right on Cypress Glen Lane. Okay. Uh, and turn uh, right on Bacardi. East Fletcher Avenue. All right, guys. So we got we got we getting eight dollars to go three minutes away. One point four miles. Can't beat that with a stick, guys. I'm going to get this cake. <laughs> turn right on East Fletcher Avenue. Shut up. Avenue. I know where I'm going at. Guys, don't you wish your kids would listen like that when you tell them to shut up? In half a mile, huh? turn left on Telecom Drive. You remember when the kids was little guys and they got that butt wide stage? Oh, that used to drive me crazy. I tell my son, boy, lay down and take a nap. But why? Like, boy, you don't lay down and take a nap. But why? I used to hate that butt wide stage. When they get past that butt wide stage, guys, oh my God, I ain't get the woman that's strong. But I got back up, guys. I got back up. See, New Dash, if you join the page, you are a distraction, okay? I forgot to get the woman that's strong, but thank God I got extra condiments in my car, guys. Whenever I go to Wendy's and Chick-fil-A, guys, I'm gonna take, I told you guys before this, before. Wendy and Chick-fil-A got enough condiments out where you can just supply the whole army of the United States. Please take advantage of that. If you ever go to Chick-fil-A, grab some um, forks, knives, napkins, whatever. Just grab, just grab stuff every time you go in there, guys. One of my bags is a fat person Christmas present, guys. I got everything in there. Mustard, ketchup, knives, forks. I got everything Half in there, though. You'll arrive at 12,640 Telecom Doctory or destination will See, be she underway. said Doctory again. What the hell is a Doctory? She got, if I wasn't an educated man, if I didn't speed through high school, I would, I, I'd be still looking for Doctory. You know what I mean? Because I got me some education, and because I didn't sleep all the way through high school, I know the difference between a DR and a doctorate. She don't, so I'm smarter than her. I want y'all to know that. All right, guys, 12, six. Oh, I think this is the um, Verizon building, I think. I was here yesterday. You've arrived. Destination is on your right. Oh, snap. I turned left. Okay, maybe I'm not smarter than her. All right, all right. She trying to prove something. She see, she see me turn, start turning right, and then she gonna say, I mean left, and then she gonna say it's on my right. I thought I'm committed. But it's okay. She got me, she got me. I guess the made it. See, I used a big word on her. Jeez. You can 
tell I'm from Florida. I just sped in front of somebody. Okay. I know where it's at. I've been here before. I'm going to Safe Point. Damn, they got money here. They got five Tesla plugged up. Okay. Safe Point Insurance. All right, guys, let me get this woman a straw. Since my GPS, or since the new sub that I just met distracted me, I'm blaming her. Huh? Shut up. All right, guys, be right back. I got a straw. <laughs> I'm back, guys. Yeah, this, I've been to her before. She said, I oh, know you. You're the guy with the great smile. So, oh, thank you. Thank you. I should say, you the one that don't tip. <laughs> no, nah, I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> uh, do I get mad that don't tip, guys? Only time I get mad, guys, when well, I really don't get mad because I say it's a blessing to do what I'm doing. I enjoy uh, helping people because I feel like this, you know. If I look at it like this, guy, I'm stopping people from killing other people by giving them breakfast when they can't get it, or you know, giving them food. You know how I many times people, especially a female would go off because they hangry. They're not angry at nobody, but they're hangry. You add hunger to anger, and you create a monster. They will push the button. Okay, guys? If you want to ruin another country, let that person be hungry. Hangry. That button getting pushed. You feel me? So, I enjoy when I, I get an uh, order, and I go to somewhere like a nursing home where people can't get out. I enjoy getting an order when there's somebody in a wheelchair. I ain't, hey guys, I ain't forgot about my man in a wheelchair. I got his address and everything. I, I'm, I'm gonna take care of that young man. I'm saving up. But I like uh, getting orders for people that got wheelchairs, special needs, any type of needs that you can't get out the house and get. If I get that order, guys, I am so humble and proud that I received that order because I just helped somebody who couldn't help themselves, who, who had to, you know, eat somebody cooking that they might not like so I don't get mad when I don't get a tip but I do get a little upset when I get the Walmart orders guys and you got this and now, now I see why Walmart said take it to the door don't go inside of the house but I'm not that type of person guy because sometimes the Walmart orders are, are elderly people I, well two of mine was elderly they was kind of up there in age so I, I felt bad I put everything where she tell, told me to put it and then she said, have a nice day. I was like, okay. I just carried in 200 bags. And you're going to look at me and say, have a nice day. You know, I ran your milk over here. I put your juice over here. You know, you could break a brother off four quarters. You know what I mean, guys? Who's that? I think it was Trini. When I talked about the lady that, that had the two bow, the, the bow legged dog and the cock out of dog. Oh, they were so cute. Bowlegged Lou and Andy, guys. Oh my God, I I I, I love them dogs. Every time I see them, guys, it's just Watch hilarious. Thank you, baby. It's, it's it's hilarious, guys. When I see the dog. But um, Trini said, "What is four quarter?" I said, "That's time at the air pump." <laughs> How many times you need air in your car, guys? And you ain't got the quarters. You got to ask for a change. So those four quarters are sitting right here, guys. That's the time at the airport. So, you know, everything happened for a reason. I ain't gotta use my credit card to get air. Now, if they would have had that back in the day, guys, people would have been laughing. You can use your credit card to get anything, guys. Oh my God. If you had a credit card back in my day, you had a lot of friends. You had a lot of friends. Oh, you wanna go to the club? Yeah, you got a credit card, we going to the club. Want to go out to eat? Yeah, we'll put it on your credit card. You know? 
And a lot of people like using their credit card. Like when I used to go out to dinner, guys, I ain't gonna lie. I'd be like, y'all give me y'all money. I'm gonna pay with my car. Cause I want that cash. Oh yeah, I used to do that. Who wouldn't, guys? You got 30 days. Or you got every month to pay on something that you could get all the money for right then and there. Hell, I used to do that all the time. You know? Oh, that's six hundred dollars. You got five eighty. Give me that five eighty. I, I I throw an extra twenty. I'll get that for you. Pop. <laughs> I got six. I got months to pay for this. <laughs> I'm gonna spend this five eighty right now. That's probably why all my credit cards got ran up. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I remember them days, guys. Yes, sir. It's funny that I be telling my son. I said, son, if you pull up in my neighborhood in a car and you had a car phone, the one that that big old thing was underneath your seat, the case was underneath your seat, and you had a case that you had to put it in, I was like, you was either a doctor or a lawyer. <laughs> you was either a doctor or a lawyer. Back in my day, and I know some of y'all know what I'm talking about, if you had a pager, God, I'm going to tell you, let me tell you a funny story, God. This is no lie. You know, I might stretch a little bit, but I ain't gonna lie to you. When pages first came out, right? I ain't gonna, I, I'm not gonna lie to you. When the pages first came out, guys, if you had a pager, you either was a drug, it was easy for us to recognize you. You either was a doctor, a lawyer, or a drug dealer if you had a pager when I was growing up. So, guy, I'm going to tell you what I did. A friend of mine, I ain't going to say no name, he stole a car. And in that car was a garage opener. It looked like a page. Same size, same model, same look, but it wasn't a page. It had a big button that said open, and it had a big button that said close. He rolled up, and he's like, Alan, come on, buy with me. I'm like, oh, hell no. Well, you know, my mother kill me if I get caught in a stolen car. But let me get that pager right there. He's like, that's a garage open. I'm like, they don't know that. The girls do not know that. Guys, I think I was what? 14, 12, 13, 14. I had this big old garage open on my side of my dad going uh, waste, guys. And I was I was flossing. Like, they was like, oh, Alan's selling drugs. Alan wasn't selling drugs. Alan was opening people's garages with that big old thing. And you know that that's, that's I, hey I had the girls man they thought I had a pager they thought I had they thought I had money guy I ain't had no money I was a I was a garage opener <laughs> you feel me guys so those things right there guys now you see somebody you don't even see pages no more but back then pages was the bomb every time a different model or pager come out I had it the ones that tell you the words across the the real expensive ones. The see-through one, the ones that light up when you when somebody paid you. You feel me? I had a flip-up pager where the pager was like this, and when somebody paid you, you could flip it up and see who paid you and flip it back down. Man, you better go ahead. You can't tell me nothing about a pager, guy. I done had all of them. I was flossing pages, man. I ain't had a dime. Girl said, buy me some um, now later. I'll buy you some sunflower seed because I got 15 cents. I ain't got, I ain't got a quarter. <laughs> but you got a pager. Yeah, girl, that's an expensive one, too. That's why I ain't got no money. I had to pay for this pager. <laughs> but my guys, man, back in the day, guys, I know my guys in my neighborhood, which I was cool. They was my best friend. But when they went out to commit a crime, guys, I either was working at the time. I either had to go to work. I was the only one in my crew that had a job because, uh, like I said, man, my mom said, once I realized that I want certain things, and my mom like, look, you got to get out there and find yourself a job. And she got me a job at Old Town Market. I, I used to weigh out fruit. People would come in, I weigh the fruit out, get the money. You know, I was real good. And, and you know, me and the owner had a great relationship. You know, he gave me my furniture. If you walked into my bedroom, guys, it looked like a living room with a bed in it. I mean, this guy gave me so much stuff. I had, you know, I, I was always a clean. My mother didn't play. You had to make your bed up. Shoes had to be underneath your bed or in a place. Your, your place had to be clean. 
It wasn't no come back and do it. It was going, I'm going to beat your A when you get home. Why, ma? Oh, you ain't clean your bed. You didn't make your bed. Come on, ma. No, no, I ain't no come on, ma. You know? And, and guys, I appreciate that. You know what I mean? I appreciate it. Getting a butt whooping don't mean you're going to die when you, before you turn 18. Getting a butt uh, whooping means that you're going to stop doing stupid stuff that you don't have no business doing. You can't beat the kids today. It's crazy. But you can hide kingfish. I beat a kid in a heartbeat, guys. I don't care. You just give me the object you want me to beat him with. I won't even charge you that much, y'all. Twenty dollars. I beat that kid. Tail. Beat him like he stole something. Cause I know it's gonna help that young man or lady out when they get older. You know what I mean? Stop threatening your kids. Whoop they tail. Especially if they're real bad guys. Sometimes talking. You know, I used to scare mine. You know, their daddy had thug life on their belly, on his belly. So I had them confused, guys. <laughs> so their daddy was a gangster. Yes, sir, I was a gangster with a pager, with a door, with a garage opener. <laughs> oh my God. And this, I think it was the, and the girl that called me out, her name was Bert. Bert was from the project. She the one that stole my daggone name about too. She was playing with it. It didn't do anything. She's like, okay, it's that up and down, up and down. What the numbers come in at? I said, um, it, it's, it, I hear and I know who calling me or who pays me. She looked at it. Didn't know she could read that good. <laughs> she said, this is a, a garage open. Oh, you know what that word is? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. She went and told everybody. Lee ain't got no money. All you gonna get from Lee is a pack of, um, what was it? A pack of um, sunflower seeds and some taffy now, lady. God, back in the day, I'm, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna give y'all guys a little secret. See, back in the day, guys, we didn't have to buy tennis shoes and shoes and jewelry, nothing like that, guys. Back in the day, if you bought a girl a pack of uh, taffy nailators and some sunflower seed, you had your girlfriend. Yes, sir. You had your girlfriend. And if you do it right, guys, you had your two or three girlfriends. You know what I mean? You get the big bad guys, she invite her friends over, and then they start loving on you. <laughs> yeah, guys. I ain't had to buy a girl. What? Yo, you back. We're going to the corner store, girl. I'm going to get you a pack of Nihilator, some sunflower seed, and some, um, what used to be, some grape soda. You know, grape soda, boy. The girls used to love the grape soda, man. Yeah. But them sunflower seed, guys, sunflower seed made your boy smile, man. I'm telling you, that Taffy Nihilator, boy, when they came out with Taffy Nihilator, oh, my God. That was, a, that was the key to a girl heart right there, man. See, fellas, y'all living in different times. Y'all spend too much money. It ain't wrong. It's not wrong because I spend a lot of money on my wife. But back in the day, guys, man, you had ten dollars, guys. You had you 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 had any any. Well, I ain't gonna say any girl. I don't mean like I'm not talking about sexual. I'm talking about just a girl as a friend or a group of guys. If you had ten guys, you had ten dollars. You get somebody killed back then. You're like, look, man, I need you to do this boy some bodily harm. How much you got? I got $10. All right, he's gone. He's he's, he's white chalk. <laughs> I'm just messing, guys. But I'm serious about the knowledge. Look at this camera. See? 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 See what I go through? Stay focused. But yeah, guys, back in the day, knowledge and some sunflower seeds, man. You, had, you can get a girl over to the crib. Yep, guys. All right, guys, I reached that critical moment. In my It's starting to rain now. I'm going to get in the house and get myself together because I know I got to go to work. But I reached that critical moment in my video that I got to say goodbye, guys. You know tomorrow, you know what tomorrow is, hell no Thursday. So y'all guys got today and tomorrow to think about how you're going to get somebody because I'm going to get them all day, guys. At work, I don't care. I'm not giving a damn. I'm keeping it real. I'm going to get somebody on Hell No Thursday. I can promise you that. If I can't promise you nothing else, I'm going to get somebody, guys. I want to get them on camera, but I got to go to the people, you know. So, 
All right, guys, this is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Al, I'm out, guys. If you're dashing, keep dashing. If you're grubbing, keep grubbing. If you're not dashing, you're not grubbing, I don't know what the hell you're doing. But you better get yourself some dashing grub, man. Peace.